What's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father. At Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below. As usual, go get it. This video is uh, entitled Mothering is getting put on, is up for examination now. A lot of times, like I've said in a lot of videos, I really don't watch television. And one of the ways I keep up with what's going on in quote on te television and media is what's trending in social media, right? And I've seen more and more situations where, you know, when, when society stepping back and just looking at mothers, you're having dissecting what, what modern day mothering has done. And I see more and more that, you know, it's up for examination. Case in point, I used to not like watching, I used to not like Fix My Life because I felt like it was biased because they all just blamed everything on a father, whether he was there, whether he wasn't there, whether he was alive, whether he was dead. It was always dad's fault. And when it's his fault, it's his fault. But when you just throwing him into the mix to cover up your own issues, I thought that was disingenuous. And I saw it happen too many times. So, but as the shows progressed, they actually got down to both sides, both mother, fathers and mothers um, parenting. And you started seeing even Ayala Van Zandt put more mothers up for examination. Like, why did you do this? Like, what, what was your motivation in doing this? This was wrong. That was wrong. There's no reason why you should do this. What, why are you making these choices? And people are starting to go, you know, you know, there's certain things that have been put out in public that people are starting to question, like, you know, you can't put this on a father, whether he's in the home or he's out of, out of the home. You can't put your co-parenting situation on the father if we find out that you were, you had nefarious intentions as far as how you was going to um, parent or, or have this co-parenting situation go. And it keeps popping up over and over and over again. And to the point where people are starting to rethink how they were um, raised. You know, you're starting to see people in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s having to, to, to really um, come to reflect on their upbringing and their childhood and their experiences and look at them from a different angle as if, you know, maybe my mother led me down the wrong path. You know, you see that more, you see more older women, I've seen more older women in the last six months to a year who did things that are pretty much, you know, that people will question, that are questionable behavior, questionable behaviors, but at the same time, things that are, they're obviously too old to, to not know that they need to do better. And people start questioning like, well, why are you still doing this at this age? You know, what are you doing? You know, why, you know, that, that, that doesn't make sense. I remember um, there's a certain celebrity who, who's their child's mother with their last, after when the last child support payment was to be made, um, the, the mother went and got a got like a like butt injections or butt implants, and people, was, you know, they were they were they weren't completely on her team the whole time because they think she did some questionable stuff. But then it's like, you did what? Oh, because you know it started changing things. I I started seeing more and more like the paternity court shows. You know, and you know the mother sit there. Oh, I don't know. And then the judge has to look like, no, you know what's going on. Like these old, you know, 
these old lies and old games are coming to surface and these old um these, these children's these children's who who are, are these children who are adults now their whole life their whole issues in life could have been wrapped around a lie and they have to go to a paternity court as adults to find out the truth you know so people are starting to question these mothers like wait you know they, they had the young lady who um whose mother was uh with a lotto winner you know she she won a lotto she said she bought the ticket and then the daughter was just you know i don't just just being dysfunctional even as, as, as she was super rich and it didn't make sense and people had to look at her mother because now these mothers are up for examination because a lot of what's been going on in the community and in america in general is you know people are dis, dis, disrespecting the younger generations work ethic and intelligence um ability to handle adversity and people firmly understand how the um how the uh come on come on come on how the family court system works in america to the point where they know people have been getting over for a very long time and now you 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 can't just put dad in the evil man category you have to start taking a look at this taking a good hard look at mothering and you're starting to see more and more mothers do this that and the third just like the young lady recently who was the friend of the mother who d drugged the baby to the front door and ran off running whether she, though she's not a mother to, from from my knowledge you know that's a that's common sense behavior that you would think any woman you know would understand like that's you don't do that to a child but no you know part of part of um what what it's rarely talked about even online is all of these missing black girls that keep you know the, the the list just keeps growing and growing in america and what's happening is a lot of these girls are running from home or they're getting taught to trust in people or to think that they're smarter than people and they wind up in bad situations and wind up coming up coming up missing and some of them you know are actual runaways and some of them you know wind up becoming sex slaves and some of them wind up getting murdered and you know people don't want to address it because something's going on in these homes with these mothers that are that's causing a rift to have these children run out to the streets because while the boys are running out to the streets as far as um, crime, the girls are running out to the streets and looking for refuge and, and just strangers. Whether they're meeting guys online, dating older guys, meeting old tricks, you know, meeting guys who they think is going to whisk them away and wind up doing all kinds of dastardly stuff to them. People are starting to have to look at it like, man, we got these mothers are up for examination, man, because it, it, there's no way around it, you know. Um, the, the lack of prosperity, like even with the situations um, you've seen recently over the last year, two years maybe, of the mothers of the college players committing with, in, in their shenanigans and the mothers of professional athletes doing their shenanigans and you're seeing um, all of these reality shows where these women are just off the chain but all of them are mothers and they don't mind being like this um, in front of their children or on camera so their children can see or you know this that and the third like they're, they're, they're mothering um, image their motherly image they think exists with or without you know good behavior you know so they could do whatever they want but i'm still a mother and, and it's so bad that you know society started getting hip to the game like you know women saying but i'm a mother and i'm a mother and i'm this and i'm a mother and 
it became a calling card to get off get off the hook with bad behavior to the point where you know the kids are bad the relationships are bad the, the, the marriages are bad the kids relationships are bad all is depression drug use suicide school shootings you know it, it, it started to all point back in the one direction and when you see all of these mothers in these occurrences on national television or, or globally and they thinking that their behavior is this is inconsequential it's not not that big of a deal and they're so far gone that they you can't even tell them that they're far gone they just think this is normal and then people start like this is why the kids are like this so so you're getting this this push to put mothering up for examination and you getting this pushback to say, you know, no, you can't do that. I can't be in the hot seat because I'm a mother and it's men's fault. And, and you start to see society shift like, no, nah. because people gave the, mo the mother archetype too much power. And now, you know, um, Power can corrupt, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And you're seeing it through the generations of children coming under this, whether these children are in their 40s, 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, teens, or even children, because you're seeing all the videos of children, two older people acting like they're all children. And you're like, like how were you raised? You know? So... This video is done. Y'all have a good one. We out.